Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we are going to be doing some resin art. My nephew had requested some wall art. He just moved into a place and he's got nothing on the walls. And his favorite color is red. So we're going to make some resin art for him. And I have more coming up in the future. So if you like the resin art, be sure to let me know in the comments below. So don't ever be intimidated by resin. Don't be afraid to try. And you can make something beautiful. We're doing a little resin art today and I have some Envirotex Light mixed. And I have seven ounces in one cup and six in the other. So I'm just gonna start pouring the resin into different cups. I don't think I'll need this many. I don't know what I was thinking. And I'm gonna add colors to them. Whoa, don't do that. I'm gonna use some different reds um, because my nephew requested red as his favorite color. So I'm gonna use a little bit of transparent red, a little opaque red, red glitter. He wasn't expecting that, I'm sure. I'm gonna start mixing this stuff up. In addition to the reds, I'm gonna actually use some silver, a little bit of black, and just for kicks, we're gonna put some purple in there too. So here's some white micro pearl stuff. We'll throw some in there. This, uh, these are the pigment powders. And if you're looking for any of the products, I'll have them linked down in the description below. And I've got some silver glitter and silver pigment powder, which I'm actually going to toss in with some of the glitter. Okay, then we have a black and a purple that we need to do. Now this gets messy, which is half the fun of it. And I have my canvases sitting on little bottle caps, water bottle caps. That's, that way it's raised up and it's not going to get stuck to the surface, the work surface. Now you can find silicone tools at, um, I found some cheap ones at Walmart. I think I found one at a dollar store. And I think we're about ready to pour. There's no right or wrong way to do this in my opinion. I think you just do it and you have fun with it. Then you can pick it up and you can start moving it around a little bit. No two pieces will ever, ever be the same. All right, now I'm going to move this stuff around a little bit with my spatula. And then I'm going to mix a little more resin. I have six more ounces and now I'm going to dribble it around the edges first. I did red, I did black, and I did some of that macro pearl whitish. Okay, so you can take your stir stick, move some stuff around. Now I have the white macro pearl and I'm going to just drip some in certain spots. And I have this silicone, um, it's like a lubricant, and I'm going to drip it right on there and it's going to help it spread out a little bit. And I'll drop it in different places and it's going to give us a cool effect. See what it's doing? It's creating like these indents in there and you just need a little bit. This stuff is going to be kind of alive for a while and moving and we don't know what it's really going to look like until it's all finished. And then you can take your torch or your lighter and then you can pop all of the bubbles. 
and then we'll let it sit a minimum of 12 hours. I'll get all of the edges covered just by scooping stuff up off of the table here and we'll see how it looks and we'll see if we want to do a final coat over it or if we like it just the way it is. Alright you guys, these have cured and I'm kind of cleaning stuff up. I'm peeling this stuff right off of my tools. It all comes off just fine because they're silicone. And this paper I'm working on is actually like a vapor barrier um, for flooring. And it has a thin silicone lining on there, so I can use this again, no problem. It prevented anything from going through it as well. So it protected my work surface. And I just stapled up, I folded it and stapled up the sides just to kind of make a tray. Okay, I gotta pop my little caps off here, and I'll just take a Dremel and cut off any of this excess stuff. But they turned out beautifully. Now, where I put that silicone, drop the silicone, there's a little indents there, which I knew was going to happen, and it leaves a little bit of a greasy film. But you don't have to worry about that. Look at that one. That one's really cool, too. They almost have a little galaxy sci-fi look to them. To clean this up, I'm going to take a wet one, clean it right up, make sure there isn't any residue left anywhere, and then just wipe it clean. So now we have these indents in here, which actually I don't mind. However, I can always put another coat over it, and now it's all cleaned up, so it'll be fine for, for taking that next coat. I did put a protective coat over them, so it is a nice and flat surface. I will have links to all of the products that I used down in the description below. I don't know if he's going to like them or not, but I'll have a couple one-of-a-kind pieces from his Aunt Mona. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like it and I hope you give it a try and do not be intimidated by resin or just trying something new and something creative. The resin can be your finished piece and it's stunning and you can just hang it right up on your wall or you can think of resin as being the background and it actually being the canvas. We've talked about that before as well. Um, we've decoupaged on resin. We have painted on resin. I think we've stenciled on resin if I'm not mistaken and we've done all kinds of things with resin and more stuff coming up. So if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing and I can't wait to do more stuff with you guys and please let me know what you think of the resin projects. And remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.